Hey everybody, just want to give you a quick update that Substance 3D Modeler version 1.5 was released yesterday. We'll find first that they added a flattening tool. You could see the use of this being pretty powerful, even if you're making organic surfaces like the skull here, or you can imagine you have hard surface objects where you want to kind of get things to be planar again. This is pretty useful and a great addition to the software. Next up, we have the buildup tool, which was refined, so it's a lot cleaner in terms of how it builds up surfaces. But also what they ended up doing was adding the ability to have an alpha on your brush, so you can add in those little tiny details. Next on the list was the smoothing tool. As we can see from this, what happens is originally was it became a little kind of crunchy around the edges, and they've worked on the algorithm for the smoothing to increase its fidelity so we get better results overall. There were some edits to the creasing tool. It just basically got moved out into its own area. And then my favorite part from the update is the materials workflow. Now inside of Substance Modeler, you can actually assign full PBR materials to the different meshes. And then if you export this mesh to say Substance Painter, it actually uses those materials as starting off points for creating masks or other kinds of information for the texturing process. At the end here, we have exports. So now you can actually set up custom presets depending on the type of export you wanna do. This is something they added in. And then also they added in image-based lighting. So now we don't have to just use the generic kind of three light point setup. You can use full image-based lighting setups to kind of see how your mesh is responding to lighting. One thing that they added in the more section here that I actually did think is pretty useful is now there is a fill color button. So if you have a mesh and you wanna flood fill it, you don't have to just use the brush. So again, just a short video here to kind of talk about Substance 3D Modeler's release and some of the updates. So if you're interested in checking that out, feel free to again, it's all part of the creative suite from Adobe and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.